welcome back what I'm doing today is kind of like a fall look if you're into fall makeup I know initially it may not seem fall given my backdrop and everything's orange and everything and this is like a plum look plum is in plum is a fall thing so I hope you guys enjoy this stick around if you want to see this remember to give this a thumbs up it really helps my channel and subscribe if you're new and if you are new welcome I'll give you a brief rundown. I'm Jamie. I love doing makeup. I'm a cake decorator. I've been doing that for, I think, 20, 21 years now. And I just started this YouTube channel, I know it was over a year ago. I've just recently delved into the world of politics. I'm a conservative. If you are conservative or aren't offended by political opinions, this channel is for you. I'm just a girl that likes to do makeup. Makeup is not a big deal. Makeup shouldn't matter. All of these people out there and the beauty YouTubers like telling people to go like check their privilege and go educate yourself and like makeup is everything. Wrong. You're wrong. It's not. It's just you're just putting stuff on your face. There's nothing wrong with it. If it makes you feel good, you get confidence. It's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But the beauty community, it just irritates me. That's why I've, I kind of like came out on my channel a few videos ago as a conservative makeup person. I just do makeup because I think it's fun and I'm artistic, I guess you could say. That's all. It, it's not a huge deal and it shouldn't like be the end all be all of human existence. Irritation. So that's what I'm about. If you guys want to see me do this look and to know what products I used, they're all pretty affordable actually. Besides the lipstick, for this I used Anastasia lipstick, so that's more like a $20 for this. But look how pretty that is. Ooh, right? Look at the fall stuff behind me. Oh man, this is great. So if you want to see this, keep on watching. So first, I have my coffee. Black coffee because it's the best. What am I drinking? It's uh, Black Rifle Coffee. And I think it's in the, it's in like the little Keurig pod thing. I think it's called Thin Blue Line. It's really, really good. So first, I'm just gonna be doing Infallible Pro Glow. I like, it's too dark, obviously. But I like the way dark uh, foundations look on my skin. I think they make my skin look better. That's just my opinion. I'm just gonna go with it. I'll try to, I'm gonna use my beauty blender also. Awesome. So I'm just gonna be applying that. I'll be right back. So that's just one layer. I think it looks really nice and really natural. Um, like if it were me, I would just keep it right there. If you want this to be a little bit more full coverage, you can go in. So let me apply a little bit more just for a little bit more coverage especially on my cheeks because you know I took a shower and so my cheeks are all red and they'll be like that for a long time <laughs> yeah I was just watching a video and I was inspired um Amanda Ensing she's so good at makeup and she's so beautiful and I was just watching her video you know it's weird so I was always subscribed to her but for like I just realized like a year I wasn't subscribed to her like somehow it just unsubscribed me and I never did that because I always really liked her so all of a sudden like I saw a recommended video and I was like oh my god she's like uploading again because like I thought about her like over the past year I'm like wow like how come I haven't seen any of her videos well YouTube it likes to unsubscribe me to a lot of channels. Steven Crowder, they'll just randomly unsubscribe me for him. Um, the channel Slightly Offensive, that's happened. Highly annoying, but whatever. Uh, now, I'm just gonna go in with some Morphe uh, concealer. It's really, really white. Do you see this? I go from like white to like a natural type color and I'm gonna go in with really really white and it smells like paint uh concealer why well because that's who i am <laughs> it's 
So yeah, I was inspired by a um, kind of a fall look that she did. It was really, really pretty. So I was inspired. And plus I have my new um, backdrop all set for fall. How fun. weird um I never used to like the look of concealer like I didn't like what it did to my face I always thought it accentuated like the flaws in my skin um I've definitely found better ones but some of them like if you don't get the exact right color I just think it makes you look weird so I'm not a hundred percent on the concealer train and you know what before I did this video <laughs> I had planned to do my eye makeup first and I was gonna do my face makeup second what happened with that hold on coffee mm, yummy I'm in a coffee mode uh, what kind of coffee do you guys like oh and I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a hot minute Last week I was, had all good intentions, and then I just haven't been feeling good. And anybody out there that knows anything of me, blame the MS. And if you have MS out there, I think you'll understand what I'm talking about. We can't do all things all the time. And lately that's been me. Hello. You know what? I want to apply shadow shield for this because I want it to be more precise. Okay. I just bought these on um, Amazon. Whatever. You can use tape. That's fine too. And I should have done this before my makeup because now after I take these off, well, it's going to take all my makeup off with them. <laughs> uh, and it kind of like that is that a good angle yeah. I always have the best of intentions I hope you guys know <laughs> and then somewhere along the way well it just doesn't work there is that a good angle are they even <laughs> cute now hmm. look at the color difference it doesn't matter. Um, so for this look, I'm going to be going in with this BH Cosmetics. Hello. <laughs> it's called Modern Mattes. There's 28 colors. There's only a few colors in here that I want to use. I think I'm mainly looking at this. This. Maybe this. Maybe this. Maybe this. I'm just going to be varying it up. So if you want to follow along with me, I'm just using random colors. I'm going to start with a light color. And then I'm going to gradually get a little bit darker until I achieve the look that I want. And I need to find a brush that doesn't have color on it. Clean blending E25 with the Sigma. Just a little bit of color. Someone like my photo. And I'm just blending this right above my crease. Oh, that's darker than what I thought it was. Thirp. This is just going to be the shade that I'm... It's kind of like my transition shade. If you guys have ever watched makeup tutorials, which I'm assuming that you have since you're watching mine. And we all know how it goes. <laughs> you start with a light color and you end with a darker color. So I'm just putting this... A a little bit above my crease. I don't have a whole lot of what I call real estate here because I have like hooded eyes. Do you see that? And I open up my eyes and like, oh, my eyebrows right there. Oh, so I don't do a whole lot of the fancy stuff that the other YouTubers can do. I'm so jealous. And I'm just blending that right onto the shadow shield. But yeah, um, if you guys don't, I mean, I'm sure you do know who she is, but Amanda Ensing. I, I always loved her and then she's actually one of the ones that inspired me to start her channel too and um, I watched her one video on like how to start a channel I was like oh wow that could be fun you know 
because in my slightly disabled little life I've carved out for myself, super fun, um, you know, I don't do a whole lot, super great, tired most of the time, super great, so I figure I like to be artistic, so what better way to use up any energy that I do have, I'll do makeup. Um, I'm just going to do a, a little bit more. I want it slightly darker. And with this part, you don't have to be super exact. I'm not. And in the end, makeup, it's just makeup. It's not meant to be like this crazy, you know, dramatic thing. It, it's not really coming off on camera exactly, but there's color on my eye. Uh, now I'm just going to go in with a slightly darker shade. Do I want a purpley shade? I'm going to do that after. So now I'm just going to be focusing more in the exact crease. And I'm just... See, could you tell? Yeah. Like I say, you don't have to pick exact colors when you're following along with makeup tutorials. Just do something similar. You don't have to be exact. Do you be yourself? And this eye shape, this eye is so different, and it it follows like this different path. It's really strange. And then I'm just kind of taking it right into the corner right there. So that way you see like a little bit of a gradient. And me having hooded eyes, I always start with the best of intentions. <laughs> and then something happens. But it's fine. I do want that a little bit darker. But hey. It's a little darker. It's so weird. Like, what it looks like in my mirror is, like, four times darker than what it looks like to you guys. It's very, very strange. Now, I'm just taking a clean brush, and I just want to buff that out a little bit. Kind of blend it in a nice, pretty little thing. to this shade it's a kind of got like a purple it's like a purpley brown and I'm just gonna take I need a smaller brush for this oh not that one I'm taking one of my um the double-ended brushes that come in the Anastasia palettes I'm gonna be using the thinner thing and then going into a brownish purplish shade right in the corner switch over to my foil eyes 2 by BH cosmetics and I'm gonna pick just like some kind of a shimmery shade here I'm thinking like this or this just gonna go between those two and then for that let me use a different brush go in with this the eye shading e55 
Um, so I have this ColourPop shadow that I kind of want to put this, this could be the wrong decision. I kind of want to put on the lid because I'm not entirely happy. It's kind of dried up. That's the problem with makeup. It dries up, man. Well, I tried. You can kind of see it. Well, whatever. Um, now I'm just gonna take off the shadow shields. Ha! Now I'm going to pat as it took off all of my makeup that's all right now i'm just gonna do a liner and a wing to finish this off i just kind of want it a little bit more dramatic than what i normally do mm. i'll be right back and for that i'm using um kat von d tattoo liner and trooper i love this liner i don't like the brand but i love this liner So I did, it's not the smallest wing, but it's not the biggest. There's just, I just want it small. Now I'm going to go back in with the first palette. And I want to, on the, the bottom lash line, I want to go in with mainly this and this, like the lighter color. And then I'm going to tight line with this. And for tight lining, I have an actual brush. If you don't have, if you don't have this brush, see how thin it is? That's for getting like way, like right up in there. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Just, just don't even do that step. I don't even care. Do you. Do what makes you happy. And then also I'm going to be going in, I'm going to put white in my waterline. And I'm going to be uh, maybe putting this yogurt color over the waterline just to make it less tense. In, intense. Dirt. Pretty color though. It's like light fall glam. Yeah, I like it. I'll be right back. So there's that. So I did, it's a purple, more like a purple brownish on the bottom. And I think that looks really pretty. Oh, I'm, ooh, I'm, I'm liking that, man. Now I'm just going to do my eyebrows, fill them in a little bit. So that way it kind of makes a little bit more sense. And for that, I'm using the, it's my favorite one so far, the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I'm using the shade medium brown. I think this is actually the shade that, um, what's her name used? 
because I need something that's more like ashy and not like a warm brown. I don't have warm brown anything. I'm more of like a cool tone. You know, and this eyebrow is way better. Do you guys have like a favorite eyebrow? And I know they always say to brush your brows up, but you can't once you get up here. You can't go like that. Well, maybe you can, but <laughs> whatever. Come on. Yeah, I wish my left brow was as nice as my right brow. But hey, that's life, right? And I'm just going to be filling those in. I might... Should I use some dip brow? I probably will. Do I have medium? Ooh, I have soft brown. So the old dip brow that I have is medium brown, but it's wicked hard. It's like clay. So then I bought a new one, but it's in soft brown. So I don't think I meant to do that. I'm going to try to re, you know, put some like liquid in there and see if I can get some color out of that. I don't know if this is going to work. What can I mix it with? You know what? I'll mix it with my little unicorn horn. <laughs> Alright, so I kind of reconstituted it. And, oh wow, there's a lot of liquid in there, man. Um, so I did a little bit. Maybe enough for me to use it. So I'm just going to be filling in my brows. Uh, I'm gonna do like the fronts of them with my dip brow. I'm gonna fill in the, you know, this part since I'm sparse. Like if you guys can tell the shape of my brow, it doesn't go like a natural like uh uh. There's this dip right here that's always been there. So my brow goes like this and then it dips and then like this. That's what makes it look a little odd. And they've always been like that. It's not like I've been like losing my eyebrow hairs. Um that's just the way it is. I personally, I don't care, but so when I fill in my brows, I like to use something like a dip brow, like a pomade, instead of just this. So I'm just gonna do my dip brow regular in the fronts of my brows, and then pomade on the back. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did that. So just a little bit of dip brow towards the ends. It's not perfect, but I don't want to make this video any longer. So I'm just doing that. Like I'm, I'm perfectly fine with brows like that. I know a lot of people, I mean, you can spend all day on your brows, but I'm okay with that. I think they look nice. <laughs> so, for the face, I need, I need, I need some color. But which color, you may ask? So first, I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of do like your typical thing where you do the bronzer and then the contour. So I'm going to take mm, uh, this, this kind of the butter bronzer by physician's formula and I'm gonna be putting that on my face first and this shade it's a little bit dark for me I mean I don't know it's all personal preference but I like it, it smells like coconut I highly recommend it get it at your local drugstore they always have it. There's always, I actually always avoided these and I don't know why. I think it was just the name that I never thought, I didn't equate physician's formula with quality and I don't know why. It's just like a natural thing. So whenever I would see it in like the drugstore, I'm like, ooh, no. I don't know why. There's no rhyme or reason. So I'm just adding some color. I'm not contouring. So this is like bronzing. So you're just adding the color first. And then contouring is like chiseling out your cheeks. I rarely do both. 
if any of them because I don't care that much I'm sorry I just don't I mean if I were going out like so I went on a date it was last week and I spent more time on my makeup and he noticed he's like wow makeup looks really nice like, thank you I actually spent more time on it it was very nice. And then they say you like my hair. Oh, you guys. So sweet. Now I'm taking this. Uh, this is by Laura Geller. It's like a... I'm going to use this as a contour now. Just like define it a little bit more. And the two shades are like really not the same I don't know this is gonna come off mm -hmm. I don't even know. Can you even see that? I can see it in my mirror. But on the monitor? I can't. Why? What, what is this? What the frack? What? Why? I'm just going to put a little underneath my nose. And a little bit on the side. Not a lot. I just want a little. I'm gonna use my voluminous. Normally, I'd be using the other one that I love so much, the the superhero one. I really, really like it. The only thing I noticed with it is that it's really, really hard to get off. That mascara will stay on for legit days. It's really, really good. So this one is just a little bit easier to get off, and since I'm not. <laughs> Since I'm not going anywhere after this, because it's like nighttime, <laughs> I want something that I can easily just take off. I hope you guys understand that. So you know what's interesting about this look? Is that I totally had one look in mind, and then it transformed into like a different look. It changed. It's not what I thought it would be. But see, that's the really, really fun thing about makeup. It just changes, and then you change with it. Super cool. I think it's pretty. I'm getting, like, fall vibes. Oh, guys, I got a candle. Yes. Like a fall candle. What's the scent? Oh, my. Mmm. The, this classic blend of spiced berries, red delicious apple, and golden nectar. Golden nectar? What the hell does that mean? Brings all the beautiful colors of autumn to mind. I've had this for a while. Who's this by? Leaves. Oh, Bath and Body Works. <laughs> but, the, but the name is called Leaves. Mm, fall vibes, man. In my backdrop, there's like fall leaves. Eh? Eh? And look, it's a fall leaf. How cool is that? I've got everything. I do love fall. My only thing with fall is that it doesn't last long enough. Before you know it, it's going to be snowing and being ridiculous. I'm hungry didn't eat yet. I had this weird thing <sighs> happen today and I don't know what the heck it was. It's kind of alarming. But I was driving and all of a sudden I have got like this crazy scared feeling while I was driving and I got like this, I think it was like tunnel vision and like I froze up and I got numb and tingly all over my body. And I wanted to just stop the car, but I was in the middle of driving. And I think it was like a panic attack type thing. 
which I'm really confused about because I don't have that. That's not a thing that I have. So, and also I don't know why that would have been, but it was the weirdest thing. It's never happened before. So, hello? Sorry. <laughs> I was Instagramming with a subscriber. <laughs> I really like this. The whole YouTube thing. You can meet some nice people and I appreciate that. And definitely, so when I first um, came out as conservative, so I lost a bunch of subscribers all at once. <laughs> I woke up and I, and I looked because I'm like, I know that's not going to go over well with most people. Holy crap. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but then, now that I've been marketing more towards, you know, my political views, um, I've been gaining them all back. So I'm just, I'm finding the right fit, you know, the right people that kind of match with, you know, that aren't going to be offended if I talk about, um, <laughs> um, you know, if I talk about, what is that? Like, I just, I would like people, subscribers, to be not offended if I talk about politics or my thoughts or Donald Trump. You know, like, even if you're not conservative, like, just don't be so offended. It doesn't matter. You can have your beliefs and I'll have mine. How about it? Sounds like fun, right? These ones, because they are intense. So they're the 203 Ardell. You know what? Let's just freaking do it. They are pretty. I just think they're a little bit short. They're like two sets of lashes. So I'm going to be doing that. And I'll be right back. And then I'm going to finish my face. And you guys are going to see it, man. It's going to be great. Hola. So those are the double up. Um, my only thing with them, like, yes, they're a lot more intense, but they're really, like, firm. And what I notice, I don't like how they don't taper in the front. I like more of a tapered look, like a softer look in the front and then go intense. These are definitely not that. But, um, if you like that style, hey, that's okay. They are 203. You know, it is what it is. Now, I want, I need, I need highlight. Now, oh, wait, no. I need some blush. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my Milani and Berry Amore. Just a little bit, not a lot, I don't want a lot. I'm not feeling the blush vibe today. Just a little bit right there. Just for some color. You know, it's a thing. It's kinda cute. Why do I bring it up here? I don't know. But I do. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna spray my face and then apply a highlight. And for highlight, I'm using the Jaclyn. Mm. I don't like Jeffree Star anymore, but I really like that spray with Morphe. It's a good spray. <laughs> Sorry. I'm 
definitely a heavier highlighter. So if you don't like the look of a lot of highlight and you're following along, well, just don't put that much. That's perfectly fine. Some people like a more natural look. I'm not that bitch. Nope. I like highlight. I don't know why. I always have, though. Now, just some in here, in a corner. Pretty, pretty. That really adds a lot, too. Aw. Oh, it's my thing lifting up. Of course. It's the only thing with lashes when they lift up at the inner corner. That'll ruin a look real fast. <laughs> Little nose highlight. Oh, cute. Now, for lips. So, I think I'm going to be going darker. Nah, see, now that doesn't make sense. Hold on one sec. Would that make sense? You know what? You know what? First... Okay, now this is a trick. I've always done this. So if you've ever used liquid uh, lipstick, you'll know how drying it is. And I don't like it personally. It bugs me. So what I've always done to make it even, like, apply better is put chapstick over your lips first. Helpful hint. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is going to make any sense. But we're gonna go with it. It's gonna be fine. Whoa. Okay. Hey. So. I'm loving this look. I. It's not. It's not what I first planned to do. That's not the look I was going for. But all of a sudden, it turned into a really pretty look. And so what I did for the lips was first I went in with the Anastasia one, uh, Catnip. And then I put the Siete London one over it, the one uh, Glitter Flip. So there's slight glitter right here. Um, I really like that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I mean, it's kind of fall. It's got like purples and berry vibes. And my face does not match the rest of my body because I'm an extremely pale girl. There's nothing wrong with that. Be proud of your whiteness, man. Be proud of any color that you are. Um, remember to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I post more uh, like political stuff on those. So if that bugs you, I'm sorry. But that's, that's what I do. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to give this a thumbs up, please. And until next time, remember to be kind. Put some color in your world. And stay humble. God bless. Bye, guys.